as wildfire ripped through Jasper National Park, the destruction left behind was sometimes baffling, like this shipping container that ended up in a river. This is a locker, and it was obviously blown into this, um, this pole here, wrapped around it. Now, researchers want to know whether some of it was caused not by wildfire, but one or more fire tornadoes. We know we have a, a damage pattern at the surface. It's, it's showing a rotating column of air, but does that rotating column of air attach to uh, a cloud, right? Uh, is it just part of the fire or is it actually attached to a cloud above? And, and yet we've had two EF3 tornadoes. He says a fire tornado can signal a wildfire's intensity and provide information to firefighters on how to respond. So the team recently visited Jasper to survey the destruction from the sky and document debris. It's really helpful to be able to compare, you know, where that item started and then also where it was carried to afterwards. We can look at the, the tree directions and do a detailed study there, and we can try to get actual wind speeds from that. This fire tornado in BC last summer was Canada's first recorded, and one of very few recorded globally, the team says. Confirmation of a second would be a big deal. Fire tornadoes are still a very um, open-ended and brand new field of research. As the climate changes, there's concern more intense wildfires could make fire tornadoes more common in Canada, creating urgency to learn more about them now. Is it going to be the case where when these intense fires occur, we're going to get extreme winds? You really need to be aware of the risks that these intense fires pose. It could take months for the team to definitively say whether any fire tornadoes touch down in Jasper National Park. Research that could teach us what extreme wildfires are really capable of. Julia Wong, CBC News, Edmonton.